on a t-shirt that says I reproduce. <laughs> Daryl Brown writes, how would you like it if a Jurassic World sequel took on more of a Planet of the Apes concept, post-apocalyptic type world with whatever humans left trying to either take back over the world or just to survive? Wondering your feelings on that type of sequel. No. No. <laughs> not at all. Because that's what you just described. It has dinosaurs, but that's not Jurassic Park at all. That's not... Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, part of the charm and the magic of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World is these new, what are essentially alien to our experience, these alien creatures. You know, now human beings and humanity confronted with them. And part of what uh, Trevor, uh, Trevorrow has done such a great job of in Jurassic World is kind of recapturing a little bit of that awe and wonder and magic. Like, that's a freaking dinosaur. I mean, you know, that's wild. And then the the whole aspect of the difficulty of now interacting with that new reality like human beings going right back to the, you know the very first ones like human beings and dinosaurs were not meant to be in the same era together and and how that would then play out and then the, there's the horror aspect and the comedy and the action all that kind of stuff is great the type of film you're describing is a movie I would absolutely go out to the theater to see, but it's not Jurassic Park. It's not Jurassic World at all. It would be such a total departure that I, that's not something I would personally want to see. I don't know. Mark, what do you think? I like the out-of-the-box thinking, though, because yeah. when I'm watching this movie, my one issue with Jurassic World is that I don't see how we're going to do a sequel that feels anything other than what The Lost World was. Mm -hmm. And I don't hate The Lost World, but I don't want to see another The Lost World. What, what Jurassic World did so brilliantly was that it gave us the feel of Jurassic Park that was updated for modern times. I don't know how you're going to do that with a sequel because there was so much that happened in this film. How can you do something that feels original and new and fresh? But if you want to see this concept that you're talking about, don't worry. There's a movie for that, and it's called Planet of the Dinosaurs. It's one of the worst <laughs> movies you'll ever see in your life, but it's hysterical. It's humans trying to survive on a foreign planet where dinosaurs invade the Earth. There's only like six humans left, and it is so fantastically horrible. You need to watch Planet of the Dinosaurs. I tell everybody that. <laughs> Christian. Um, I got to go the other way. I, I not only think this is a good idea, I think this is the direction that they're going to go. Wow. I, I think that this is not the first time I've heard this. I've heard other people talking about this, that this is kind of the direction that they want to go with this. Um, I think it's the only way you can go, because like you said, Mark, I'm done with people getting trapped in a park. I'm done with the fact that it's it's okay. We're, we're, they're not attractions anymore. And, and even without spoiling it, what the evolution, if you will, um, in this movie, there seems to be grand plans for the dinosaurs or what they want to do with the dinosaurs. I don't want to just do some military story. I think that that it becomes kind of lame. I think that if you start to do it to where it is impossible, to, when you try to cre become God and create life, it's going to backfire on you. And I think there's something to be said with that. And I think you can you can spread that over and make it a different type of movie because you're right. It, it wouldn't be the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World that we know but we've seen it twice, it's gonna be hard to stay there and make it interesting. So I, I don't really wanna see a sequel at all, but I think that if you do go in a different direction, it's this way because you can do, you, you, you breathe new life to the franchise if you do it this way. Because look at Rise of the Planet of the Apes did and it's how the apes first did it. So it's like first you would see whether it's Jurassic World or maybe it is the military trying to use the dinosaurs and it backfires. Then the second one is those lone survivors trying to, it, it just becomes more, uh, you have more storytelling that you can do. Now I'm not saying that this would work great and it would be the best franchise ever. I just think that it, it, it doesn't limit you as much as trying to go, well now they're in a SeaWorld type place, but now they're in a, a Bush Gardens type place, now they're in a Disney World type place. It's like, how many parks can you do and how, what can you do besides this? Who do you boys think wins if you have half of a planet of apes and half of a planet of dinosaurs? Who's winning that fight? Shared universe. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and let's throw some predators in there, yeah. just for good measure.